Hi, my name is Panshankar and in this video we would be creating an animated motion dashboard in Tableau that shows sales. Before we start developing this, let's understand the rationale for going out of our way to create these visualizations that are advanced than what we usually do. Tableau is a tool that has established itself very strongly in the visualization space. All it takes in Tableau are few clicks and a couple of drag and drops to create a rich visualization. The part where motion charts and animations are worth taking the extra steps in Tableau is when we are trying to show a lot of data points in one single view. Let's see it in action. This is the dashboard we would be creating in this session. Now, let's start building it step by step. I'm connecting to the global superstore Excel data that is in my desktop and then selecting the orders table. I'm going into the sheet and then selecting on country, control and selecting on profit and then I go to show me and I select a map. Now I'm dragging my order date into pages. Now I'm selecting quarter I'm double clicking on the title and giving it an appropriate name that's it I'm selecting the play button and we should be able to see the map in motion now I'm selecting category and sales and showing a pie chart now changing it to entire view Double clicking on the rows and entering minimum of zero. Control and duplicating the calculated field. And then I'm going to the measure in the marks and removing color and size. And then changing its size. I'm going to the measure above and then increasing its size a little more. Now I'm going to the second pill in the row and making it a dual axis, changing the color to white and entering data labels. Right click, let's remove the header and then right click format, let's remove the zero lines. Now let's go to sales and format it a bit to make it a little more readable. Go to paint, numbers, go to number custom, remove the decimals, and make it in thousands. Now, if we bring the order date into columns, you would be able to see change in the size of the donut, which we don't want. So, I'm going to all and then removing the multiple fields with size. Once we do that, the issue is resolved. Now, I'm dragging the year into pages and changing it to quarter now i'm giving an appropriate title for the chart that's it just renaming the sheet and if i select on the play button we would be able to see the donut chart in motion i'm selecting subcategory and sales and changing it to a bar graph I'm sorting it and making it a vertical bar, making it entire view. And now dragging the category into color and removing the axis, showing mark labels. And then let's format the sales to make it a little more readable. Number custom and then make it in thousands. Now drag the order date into pages, change it to quarter. Let's give an appropriate title for the chart. That's it. I click on the play button and we should be able to see the bar graph in motion. I'm selecting the subcategory and then sales and i'm going to change it as a bar graph i'm changing it to entire view 
I'm sorting it and then selecting and duplicating the sum of sales field and then I'm going to the bottom marks and then changing it to a circle now I'm making it a dual axis and now I go back to the measure and make it a bar graph again now let's synchronize the axis and then go to measures and change the size of the circle just to make it appear like a lollipop kind of graph decreasing the bar a bit just to make it appear nice now i'm dragging my category and dropping it into the colors now let's show mark labels let's format the labels a bit just to make it a little more readable format go to number custom remove the decimal places and then display unit as thousands let's select on the label and format it a bit make the alignment in the middle let's remove the headers let's remove the field labels as well and bring our order date into page Let's change it to quarter and then give an appropriate title for our chart. And now I select the play button and we should be able to see our chart in motion. I'm selecting order date and then changing it to quarter. And selecting sales, we should be able to see a line graph. Now dragging the category into color and then giving an appropriate title for our chart now drag the order date into pages and then change it into quarter now change the marks into circle and then go to the pages filter and click on show history then select it marks to show history for let's select all and then under show let's click both now i select on the play button and we should be able to see our animated line chart in motion now that we have created all the charts let's start creating our dashboard let's go to new dashboard and then let's change the width and height appropriately and then let's give an appropriate title for our dashboard sales dashboard let's drag the maps and then donuts beside it and bar graph below the maps and the lollipop chat at the right corner line below the donut chat that's it now uh, let's drag the profit legend and then remove the title to make it a little more clear let's adjust its size and then let's make this page filter as floating and remove the legend Let's go to customize and remove few unnecessary things like the slider. We don't need the slider. I'm just removing it and then I'm going back to customize and removing the show control, show history controls. Just adjusting the size. Looks like our sales trend is not showing the line. So let's go to it and select show history now it's resolved now let's add some animation to our motion dashboard animation is a new feature in tableau from the version 2020.1 by default this animation feature will be switched off and all we need to do is go to format click on the option animation and switch it on that's all now animation has been incorporated in this dashboard. Let's go into the presentation mode 
and click on the play button here. We should be able to see our animated motion dashboard ready. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Stay connected by subscribing my channel to dive into more details and learn more together. Please give a thumbs up and share if you have liked this video. Also, please comment below for any questions in this video and I will do my best to help you guys out.